Hi, this is my orchid spotlight uh, for one of my orchids that uh, has uh, just opened up uh, and it's blooming now for the first time in four years. Uh, this used to be a very uh, um, reliable bloomer and then I repotted it and then it just stopped blooming for me. And I'm talking about Epidendrum ciliary. Uh, this video is particularly for Ed of Ed's Orchids and uh, I think it's Todd uh, who might also have one uh, but I don't think anybody else has a very compact version of this plant and um, so I've seen it a few times uh, doing some searches if you do Epidendrum ciliary compact uh, plant or something um, you'll see that um, it looks quite different from the uh, larger variety that uh, most people have. And for one thing, it does look like a Cattleya in growth, but it has, um, it's, it's a bifoliate. And um, a lot of the ones I see um, in other people's collections, it's, a, it's unifoliate. Um, so uh, the plant isn't particularly uh, tall. I would say that it's maybe maybe six to eight inches tall and the flowers are very much the same as the larger variety. Uh, I think they bloom at about the same time but the flowers are really quite small uh, but they have an amazing fragrance at night um, so during the day there is no fragrance. Uh, but uh, at night, it really is amazing to smell these plants. And they last about a month, according to my records. And if you look at the, uh, at the lip, it's quite amazing. The structure is so, so unique. I think that's why a lot... Oops, sorry. The white is uh, not coming through very well on this one. Uh, but it, uh, it's very intricate but quite small. Right. Now, white flowers are always really, really hard to photograph. So I'm just going to give you a, a side profile. Anyways, the way I grow this one uh, basically is um, I treat it as a Cattleya in essence. Um, and they do get, I guess, a drier colder winter. I, they have no choice in my home uh, as I live in Canada. I mean the, the living room where it grows is always cooler in winter. That's just the way it is. And uh, But I did try summering uh, it outside this summer and maybe that was a good thing. Uh, but it produced a bunch of uh, pseudobulbs. This one uh, was new. This, I think this one here is new. Uh, this one is new. Anyways, it, it, I think it grew like five new pseudobulbs and, and only one uh, bloomed. So um, I do have in my records that um, a good fertilizing, um, you know, a heavy fertilizing through the summer uh, really helps with the flower count. And I don't have a spectacular flower count, but at least it's flowering. So um, thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to have this uh, blooming again in my collection. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and uh, thanks for watching.